so great place to think and it's a great place to conceive ideas. Richard Branson must be the luckiest billionaire on earth. He stumbled onto the deal of a lifetime when he bought Necker Island for a mere $180,000. That may seem like a lot, but it's mere pennies to Branson, and now the island is worth a staggering $100 million. That might be the most incredible return on investment in history. Whoever sold the Caribbean island must have a terrible case of seller's remorse. Here is a detailed look at Branson's fabulous Necker Island and all the fun things you can do if you're fortunate enough to visit this amazing locale. Richard Branson has a reputation for being a fun billionaire. Even The Simpsons parodied this fact with the character Arthur Fortune, who's the antithesis of curmudgeon Mr. Burns. Dollars for everyone! <laughs> Branson is known for his extreme stunts and jovial attitude. You're more likely to find him driving aquatic cars and kite surfing with scantily clad supermodels than in the boardroom. Branson amassed his fortune by investing in things that are fun. He's worth about $4.9 billion, and much of that money has come from entertainment and travel. Virgin Group, which Branson founded in 1970, has over 400 companies under its umbrella. Branson found early success with Virgin Records, and his flair for the unique was evident from the start when he signed outrageous bands like the Sex Pistols. Branson eventually sold Virgin Records to EMI for a cool $960 million. Many of his moneymakers are travel-related. He founded Virgin Atlantic in 1984, Virgin Holidays in 1985, and Virgin Hotels in 2010. He's currently devoting plenty of time to his space tourism company, Virgin Galactic. Elon Musk and Richard Branson are going head-to-head -head in a modern-day space race. They're also battling for the title of world's coolest billionaire. Branson's greatest investment may very well be his purchase of Necker Island in 1978 for $180,000. He had his eye on the island for some time, and he even tried to purchase the Caribbean paradise a year earlier. His $100,000 offer was laughed at, and the real estate agent who gave Branson the tour of the spectacular locale even made him find his own way home. $100,000 was all that Branson could afford at the time. He wasn't swimming in money like he is today. What's worse is that Branson had taken a date along with him when looking at the island. He thought a free tour of a fabulous island would lead to romance, but instead, Branson was humiliated and his date was furious. Being stranded in the middle of nowhere is definitely not what his date had in mind. A year later, things were different for Branson. His luck was changing and the owner of Necker Island was desperate to sell. Branson upped his offer to 180,000 and the island was his. Today, that island is worth a staggering $100 million and the girl he tried to impress is now his wife. Talk about luck. Necker Island was now all Branson's, but the sale did come with an asterisk. Branson had to build a resort on the island within four years of the purchase date, so he got right to work. Today, Necker Island is a getaway for celebs and dignitaries from around the globe. Branson does use the island to frolic and relax with his family, but it also doubles as an executive boardroom. He regularly uses the resort to hold conferences and charity events. Even other billionaires are jealous of Branson's Necker Island resort. The white sandy beaches and gorgeous scenery would make the 74-acre Caribbean island impressive even without the world-class villas and features. At the center of it all is the spectacular Great House, which serves as the focal point of the resort. The Great House has 10 guest bedrooms, a master suite, and a palatial common area. This is where Branson comes to unwind. Each room comes complete with hand-carved furniture, and guests are treated to stunning views of the tropical beaches, nearby islands like Virgin Gorda, and the newly installed wind turbines. Imagine standing on the balcony, sipping champagne, and eating the finest omakase sushi. This is an everyday occurrence for Branson, but you too can get in on the action if you have a spare $60,000 lying around. That's how much it costs to stay for just one night. Necker Island is as exclusive as you can get. Max capacity of the island is only 40 people. It would be terrible to lay down 60 grand only to have your vacation ruined by a noisy family of five. There are no crowded buffet lines here, and you won't have to spend hours trying to find that perfect spot to sunbathe on the beach. If you shell out the big bucks to stay at Necker Island, you certainly won't be bored. There's plenty to do. You might be tempted to lie around all day, but if you want to get the most bang for your buck, you should definitely take in some of the fun activities that the island has to offer. Branson is passionate about conservation, so he built a nature preserve right on the island. Flocks of flamingos are a common sight on Necker Island, and the luxurious utopia is home to over 200 species of rare birds. A trip to Necker Island will make you jump for joy, much like the endangered Madagascan lemurs that call the island home. Tennis, anyone? There's plenty of ways to keep fit on Necker. 
Aside from a sporting game of tennis, you can try the zip line, take up kite surfing, or catch some waves. Necker is a dream come true for surfers. Richard Branson always tries to break up the monotony when he's working. He'll often kite surf in between business calls or relax in the bath while taking calls from politicians and dignitaries from around the globe. Who said work had to be boring? If you want an even more private experience, Necker Island actually has private houses you can rent. Bali Lo Complex has three beautiful private houses. There's Bali Lo, Bali Bua, and Bali Kukila. Each private house is built in an authentic Balinese style and can sleep two adults. Fancy a spa day? Samudra Spa is right on the beachfront and the views are as tremendous as the massages. In the Bali High complex, you'll find Bali High, Bali Cliff, and Bali Beach. Each of these residences comes complete with a plunge pool. Each house even has a kayak in case you want to explore the coast. You name it, Necker Island has it. Getting to the island is an adventure itself. You'll have to land your private jet at nearby Virgin Gorda and Beef Island. From there, guests take a boat to Necker. Upon arrival, guests are greeted with champagne. Yes, you will be rewarded with champagne simply for setting foot on Necker Island. The bubbly keeps flowing. It's never ending. If you need a place to dock your yacht, don't worry, Necker has that too. Richard Branson has spent a lot of money making Necker Island the finest experience in the world. The initial investment into the resort was $10 million, but there have been numerous renovations and revamps over the years. The Great House caught fire and was destroyed in 2011 during a lightning storm. Branson didn't give up and spent $17 million to make it bigger and better. The resort once again faced the wrath of Mother Nature in 2017 when Hurricane Irma barreled through Necker Island. Yeah, buildings that had literally disappeared not one tree left standing. Branson was not discouraged one bit. He spent millions more to rebuild and make Necker Island even better than ever. If you take the plunge and visit Necker Island, you'll be in good company. Plenty of Hollywood elites have stayed at Branson's epic playground. After a stressful eight years as leader of the free world, one of the first things that Barack Obama did was visit Necker Island and enjoy some kite surfing. He definitely needed a holiday after eight years in that job. It was a welcome change from dealing with keeping the United States in order. Obama is far from the first dignitary to enjoy the pristine beaches of Necker Island. Branson has hosted many summits at Necker Island over the years in an effort to make the world a better place. Princess Diana, former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, President Jimmy Carter, Nelson Mandela, and Archbishop Desmond Tutu have all spent time at Branson's famous resort. It's a who's who of notable luminaries. You can count yourself among distinguished royalty when you spend time at Necker Island. When the celebs get bored of Hollywood, they head to Necker Island. Kate Winslet has spent a lot of time at Necker over the years, and she even saved Branson's mother during the 2011 fire. She heroically rescued her from the Great House after it was struck by lightning. Clearly, Kate is nothing like Rose from Titanic. She could have saved Jack and we all know it. <clears throat> Harry Styles, Mariah Carey, Kate Moss, Nick Lachey, and Jimmy Fallon have all been spotted partying and frolicking on Necker Island. Some celebs even use Necker Island to hold amazing destination weddings. Branson will likely never give up Necker Island. He simply enjoys it too much. However, he is now using Necker Island as collateral for Virgin Enterprises. Branson has had to raise cash to keep many of his businesses afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic. But Necker Island will always be popular. When people start to travel again, it's no doubt Necker Island will be booked for a very long time. If Branson is forced to sell the island, it'll be for a hefty sum. He won't be desperate enough to let it go for a mere 180 grand. And though Necker may be Branson's prize jewel, he actually owns another private island off the coast of Australia. Make Peace Island off the Sunshine Coast is a far more affordable option if you're looking for a getaway. It only costs $10,000 for two nights. What a bargain! Branson has big plans for Necker Island. He eventually wants to make the island carbon neutral and convert the island entirely to clean energy. Richard Branson is passionate about green technology and climate change prevention. How will we be able to enjoy Necker Island if climate change wipes it out? That's it, folks. Would you like to stay on Necker Island? Is the $60,000 price tag worth it? How would you spend your time if you had the chance to visit this tropical paradise? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.